Hello, my name is Mitch Tabian, and this is my Android tutorial on how to populate a list view with images and list items. Uh, so to start off, I start off a new project. I called mine List View with Icons. And uh, first of all, we're going to go into Main Activity and uh, make our first list. So it's going to be a type, string type. Call it Ninjas, and we're going to populate it with all the ninjas that we used in the previous tutorial. I love Naruto, I'm a big nerd, so might as well use what you know. You can populate your list with anything, really, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, so in the last one we used uh, just strings to populate a list, but in this tutorial we're also going to use images to go along with the strings. So to do that, I'm going to get you to go down, oops, I just didn't mean to click that. What the hell is that? Okay, just going to ignore it. Uh, go to values, go to new, go to new values resource file, and we're going to create a new resource file called ninjas. And in here, we, oops, we are going to populate an array so that we don't have to define it in our main activity. So we go array, its name, uh, call it ninja icons, and then we're going to define a bunch of items for in the array. And I've already, oops, oops, I've already gone ahead and added the images to the drawables folder so if you haven't done that just go ahead and do that so you need to find your drawables folder in your project and just add the images that you want to use I chose a bunch of ninja icons from Naruto so the first one uh, we'll add that guy and then copy this and do it a bunch more times I think I got five yeah five so that guy, and that guy, I already got that, which one am I missing? Gosh, it's, it's weird that only those two show up there, but all of them I'm pretty sure work. Okay, so now that now we've populated an array, and we can refer to that array anywhere else in our code. So we'll go back, we'll close this, and we'll go back to main activity, and we'll go about referencing that. So we'll start with the context. Oops. And then we need to reference our resources. Uh, yeah, that should be good. And so now we define a new array of typed array. We'll call it ninja icons. And there it is. Cool. Oh, forgot. Oh, forgot to tell you um, up here you need to change whatever this is to list activity it uh, just makes it easier to adapt lists with images and stuff like that so go ahead and change this to list activity we can use set list adapter that's that's what it lets us use call this image and text adapter that's a new class that we're going to define in a second And this is going to be our secondary layout. Uh, we guess still got to define that. And this is our ninjas array. Oh, I call it ninja. Okay. And ninja icons. Sure. Okay. So now this is going to adapt our list. We need to build an image and text adapter, which we're going to do in a second, uh, right after we make our secondary layout. So go on the layout. We need a 
text view. Um, yes, match parent, match parent, sure. Text color. Call it black. I'll define that in a second also. Right now, it's not created. I'll go to text uh, style, sure. Let's go bold. Text size. Let's go 20 SP. Remember, SP is when you're defining text size. Don't use DP. And let's give this thing an ID. Uh, we'll call it just call it text view. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that color. Let's go on into colors. Oops. Um, call it black. And I can't remember how to do this. I think just type something in there. No. There we go. Click, choose the color, and it'll change it. Okay. So now we have our color defined. We can close this. And you can see that's green now, so that's all good. Um, then we're going to go to image view, uh, the width. What do we want the width? Let's just call it uh, 30 dp. Sure. And 30 dp for height. And then give it an ID. Call it image view. Okay, that should be good. Oh, I think, I think we should change that to horizontal too. Oops. Or else the images will stack on top of your text. You don't want that. So that should be pretty good for there. Oh, uh, in activity main, we need to uh, define a list view. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I guess match parent, match parent's fine. And we're going to need an ID. Oh, um, this is very important. You need to have this just like that or nothing will work. I think it's it's part of the uh, list activity. It's a requirement, I think. Uh, I just know that this ID needs to look exactly like that or nothing will work. So make sure you do that. I think we're done in there. So why isn't that green? That should be green. Oh, I spelled wrong. Secondary layout. Shit. Uh, okay. Durr. There we go. So that should be good now. That should be purple. Nice. Okay, so now we need to make a new class called Image and Text Adapter. We'll go ahead and do that. Image and text adapter. Boom. And I'm probably going to fast forward to this part because it's really boring. Um, if in, in the future, if you want to use this, you can basically just copy copy this completely, and it would work. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really get too into it. Okay, so that's done. Um, I'm gonna upload this, the entire source code, so you can just uh, you can just throw this in. But I'll just scroll down slowly if you want to type it out yourself here. Basically, it's just it's just adapting the image images in the text. Okay, um, and we need to fix something in the secondary layout, but we're almost done. So it actually needs to look like this. There, you just have one linear layout, and make sure it's horizontal, or else they, they the images will stack on top of each, or the images will stack on top of the text. And for some reason, the image view needs to be above the text view in the code, or it doesn't work properly. I honestly have no idea why, but I know that like if I put if I put this down here it doesn't work properly so keep it keep it up here and that should be that should be good uh, so we can save it and we'll run the emulator
Alright, so the emulator is finally done. Hooray. Alright, so you can see all of your list view items and they have the icons attached to them. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. If you have any questions, leave comments. I'm not sure what my next video will be. I want to I wanna make one with a MySQL server importing list items or something like that, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching.